The possibility of an asteroid hitting Earth has long been a concern due to its potential to cause widespread destruction. Fortunately, scientists and space agencies around the world have been developing methods to detect and deflect dangerous asteroids to avoid catastrophic impacts. Here's a detailed look at how Earth can defend itself from an asteroid hit. The first step in preventing an asteroid impact is early detection. Space agencies like NASA, ESR, European Space Agency, and others have dedicated programs for identifying and tracking near-Earth objects, including asteroids and comets. These programs include NEOWISE, NASA's space-based telescope that detects infrared signals from asteroids, PAN-STARS, and Catalina Sky Survey, ground-based observatories that scan the sky to find near-Earth objects. ATLAS, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, designed to provide a warning for small asteroids hours or days before they impact Earth. By tracking near-Earth objects and calculating their orbits, scientists can predict the likelihood of future collisions. Once an asteroid is detected, scientists calculate its orbit to determine if it poses a threat to Earth. The following factors are considered size and mass, as larger asteroids can cause more damage, speed and trajectory, since a direct hit could be catastrophic, while a glancing blow might have less severe effects, composition, because metal-rich asteroids behave differently than rock-based ones when hitting the atmosphere. NASA's Sentry System continuously monitors known asteroids, assigning a probability of impact over the next 100 years. If an asteroid is found to be on a collision course with Earth, there are several potential methods to deflect or mitigate the impact kinetic impactor. One of the most widely discussed deflection methods involves sending a spacecraft to collide with the asteroid, changing its speed and direction. A small alteration in its velocity could cause it to miss Earth entirely. The most famous test of this method was NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test Mission, which successfully impacted the moonlet of an asteroid called Didymos in 2022 to test the concept Gravity Tractor, where a spacecraft would fly near the asteroid and use its own gravitational pull to slowly alter the asteroid's trajectory. Over time, the gravity of the spacecraft would tug the asteroid off its course. This is a slow but precise method, ideal if an asteroid is detected well in advance. Nuclear deflection in extreme cases a nuclear device could be detonated near the asteroid. Rather than blowing it up, which could create dangerous fragments, the explosion would vaporize part of the surface, causing the asteroid to change direction due to the resulting force. This is considered a last resort option because it carries risks of creating multiple smaller but still dangerous fragments. Solar sail or laser ablation, a spacecraft equipped with large reflective sails could push an asteroid off course by using the pressure of sunlight. Alternatively, powerful lasers could be aimed at the asteroid, vaporizing part of its surface and causing it to shift direction due to the force of the expelled material. Both methods are still theoretical and would require significant advancements in technology. Asteroid fragmentation, blowing up an asteroid with a nuclear explosion or other high-powered devices is generally considered too risky as it could turn a single large asteroid into multiple smaller ones, some of which could still hit Earth. Several international initiatives are focused on planetary defense. First up, we have the Planetary Defense Coordination Office, or PDCO. This is NASA's office dedicated to detecting and responding to potential asteroid threats. It coordinates efforts between different space agencies and observatories worldwide. Then, there's ESA's HERA mission. This is a follow-up mission to DART, aiming to study the results of the kinetic impactor test and better understand asteroid deflection. Public safety and emergency preparedness. In the event of a smaller asteroid impact, where deflection is not feasible, emergency preparedness becomes critical. 
Governments may issue evacuation orders or shelter-in-place instructions, depending on the size and location of the impact. Impact modeling tools are used to predict impact location, determining where an asteroid would hit. Blast radius, assessing the area affected by the shockwave. Tsunami risk, if the asteroid hits the ocean, it could cause massive tsunamis. Airbursts, smaller asteroids might explode in the atmosphere, similar to the Chelyabinsk meteor in 2013, which caused damage to buildings and injured over 1,000 people due to the shockwave. International Collaboration Planetary defense is a global issue that requires collaboration among nations. The United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, COPUOS, works to foster international cooperation. There are global warning systems that allow countries to share information about potential asteroid threats. Future developments. New technologies and missions are continually being developed to improve Earth's defense against asteroids. Some key future advancements include space-based detection systems, these can detect asteroids earlier and more accurately than ground-based systems. Improved propulsion systems, faster spacecraft can reach asteroids earlier, giving more time for deflection. International drills, regular simulations of asteroid impacts will continue to be performed to prepare for a real emergency. Conclusion While the threat of an asteroid hitting Earth is low in any given year, the potential consequences are so severe that space agencies have developed robust detection, tracking, and deflection techniques. These efforts, coupled with international collaboration, make it increasingly possible to prevent or mitigate an asteroid impact. Early detection remains key, and continued advancements in technology and planetary defense strategies are essential for the long-term protection of Earth.